Alrighty, so we're going to get into some fundamental and some basics of light painting. So one of the most important things around light painting is what to wear when you're light painting. Uh, some of this is going to be obvious, some of it not so obvious. So one of the things that you will notice whenever you go out and you see other people light painting is we always wear black or dark clothing. Now, uh, I'm wearing white soled shoes here at the moment. Now ignore that. Uh, I have a bit of an ankle injury at the moment. I'm going to be standing on this concrete for about a week. So uh, I'm being quite careful. So when you're light painting, you want to wear dark clothing, right? So I'm wearing dark pants here. If I'm going out, these are a pair of jeans, but if I'm going out into the wild or where it's dirty, I have some dirty old crappy clothes that I wear. I'm always wearing black t-shirts. It's kind of become a uniform for me. Uh, and when it's cold, uh, I have a long sleeve black tops um, that I'll put on so that I'm covered. Now, why do we wear dark clothes? Well, when we're light painting, um, we're doing long exposures and we're moving light around. Now, if we're somewhere where there's outdoor lighting, we want to be as dark as possible. Regularly, the, one of the problems that I see when I'm light painting is if my arms are exposed, you'll see that sort of skin, uh, skinny colored stuff in the images. Often you'll see my face. Uh, for me, I've got gray hair, so I'll all, <laughs> I always wear a black hat, otherwise my hair glows up like a bloody Christmas tree. Um, so even though I'm wearing white soled shoes here, uh, I, I have a whole a, array of dark colored shoes that I wear. And one of the reasons for that is that I'm often spinning orbs, so doing a ball of light, and there's always gonna be light down by my feet. And so if I'm wearing white soled shoes, you'll see them. There's a classic photo I took early in my light painting in a place called Hullstart in Austria. Uh, it's out on this sort of jetty thing with a beautiful full moon scene in the background. And I'm wearing a pair of white soled vans. Uh, and there's this strip of white light, which is hilarious. So dark clothing. Uh, if you're in a really hot environment, here in Australia, it sometimes gets to temperatures where it'll be 30 degrees at 10 o'clock at night. So I have really thin, light, dark clothing. Um, but still, sometimes you're not going to get around it. You're going to see your hands if the light is around your hands. Sometimes if you're wearing shorts, you might see your legs. So the trick is to wear uh, dark clothing. Now, you're going to hear me talk about safety a lot. Safety in light painting is really important. And really when we're thinking about clothing and what we wear, the main one is footwear. Now I go into some crazy locations, uh, up hills, around cliffs. Um, I always, I have an array of good gear. So my tip to you is this, if you're gonna be climbing around rocks and bits and pieces, make sure that you're wearing shoes with great ankle protection, that's really important. The other thing to bear in mind, uh, and this is not so obvious, is that if you're wearing really dark clothing and you're walking around where there's cars, remember they're not going to be able to see you. So, um, dark clothing, dressed for the conditions, nice and warm if it's cold, good footwear, um, yeah. And as you become more of a light painter, you end up with a wardrobe that is just completely black. Excellent. So that's clothing. Let's get into it. Peace. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.